Hi, I'm Eric Franklin, and these are your lower back muscles. And they will be located right here. These are mostly two muscles called the multifidi and longissimus, and they're located here in these grooves between the spinous processes and the lateral processes here of the spine. This is where they live. But they're not here alone. They are covered by layers of fascia with which they interact in rather complicated ways, but for now we're just interested in having a physical experience of what's going on here. So on top of this, you have something called the thracolumbar fascia with a bunch of layers and these two structures, the rectus spina and the fascia, support each other. In certain positions of the pelvis and spine, you'll notice that the muscles are working harder. You can sense that because they will be bulging up against our fingers, which we're going to use to sense what's going on. At other times, you're going to feel more tension in the fascia. That's going to feel a little more superficial, a little broader, a little tighter like that. So, we want to feel the difference between the muscles working and the fascia working, and in a healthy back, both do part of the job. You don't want to always be engaging your muscles, you don't want to always uh, stress your connective tissue, your fascia, you want both of these structures to work. So let's get an experience of that and while learning about this you're actually going to feel your back starts feeling better. So here we go. We are now going to use our fingers, specifically our fingertips, to sense what's going on in the lower back. So put your hands on your lower back so that your fingertips can feel those bulges right next to the spinous processes. Those are your lower back muscles. Then we need to move our pelvis into a variety of positions because if we don't do that, our lower back won't flex and extend. So first, we're going to anteriorly tilt the pelvis, rotate the pelvis, which is going to extend our back and allow us to feel the erector spinae muscles. They're going to be pretty tight back there. Now comes the tricky part. You've got to move your pelvis slowly into a posterior rotation, sensing what's going on in your lower back. There will be a moment where you can feel a certain amount of relaxation in the lower back muscles, especially in the superficial ones. Then if you keep rotating your pelvis backwards and you flex your spine slightly forwards, you're going to start sensing your lower back getting tighter again. That's what it feels like. This flat, broad tightness at the lower back, that is your thracolumbar fascia. Then let's toggle back again. There's a kind of a neutral zone where the muscles feel relaxed. You don't feel that much tension either in the fascia. And then you extend your spine again and now you're going to feel the muscles. And we're going to rub our fingers on these muscles. And then we're going to go forward and I'm going to feel the fascia Right there, broad, more superficial sense of stretch and tightness, and then the intermediate zone, and then you're going to feel the erector spinae. Let's do it a little faster. Thracolumbar fascia, erector spinae, thracolumbar fascia, erector spinae. Then let's also do some lateral flexions, and as we do that, we're going to slide our fingers up and down along the thracolumbar fascia and the erector spinae. There we go. And let's finish with just a little bit of rotation of the spine, right, a little bit like that. Tap your lower back, breathe. And then we're going to come back up. Stretch your legs and notice any changes in your lower back and posture. Most likely you'll feel your lower back has released as you explore these structures. Your shoulders are a little more dropped, you feel more length in your spine, and even your pelvic posture might have improved. So, it is worthwhile to discover and work with the relationship between those lower back muscles and the thracolumbar fascia. And if you do this exercise and you have a good experience, I'd be very interested in hearing from you. You can comment below. And of course, you can always go to my website, frankenmethod.com, and sign up for my newsletters because then I can send you more great ideas on how to feel better in your body, move better, and uh, learn how mind and body interact. 
So have fun and see you soon.